Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be talking about the Lemon Coral Sedum. The Lemon Coral Sedum is a wonderful heat tolerant, drought tolerant plant and it is a native of Europe. So this plant is mostly found in the mountainous terrains of Europe. So if you look at the mountain so obviously it would be covered with a lot of rocks etc so the soil element in it will be really scanty however this plant really grows well in scanty soil so this plant is largely grown in the gardens as ground cover and it is majorly grown for its beautiful foliage the foliage is either chartreuse or a golden bright yellow color so if you place this under full sun then you will get a very rich golden yellow color if you place this in semi shade then you will get the chartreuse color chartreuse color is nothing but something that is a little greener with a golden tinge so this is a wonderful plant and probably it gives out flowers during the summer season that is what I've heard. I need to experience this. I need to see it. I've read that a lot of bumblebees and butterflies are really attracted to the flowers of this plant. If at all it flowers, it will flower during the summer season. So this is an excellent ground cover because it spreads across through the ground. So if at all you have an area under a lot of shade in your garden and you cannot really grow grass because it is either expensive or it is a lot of maintenance what you can do is you can actually grow this this is quite cheaper than grass and you do not have have to worry about the maintenance of this plant so let us look at what are the predominant conditions that this plant really likes so like i said sunlight requirements are either full sun or part shade However, indoors, if at all you grow, you need to give it a lot of bright light conditions, but I would advise you against from growing this plant indoors. Then next, watering. Since it is a drought tolerant plant and it is a succulent, you see the leaves will be really fleshy. It already has water in store, so avoid overwatering because if you overwater, the roots are very tender and sensitive, they will rot and the plant will die. Another thing about fertilizers is nothing but you need to use a lot of nitrogen rich fertilizers so I would just recommend maybe cow dung powder or any organic matter for example even compost would be enough. Propagation of this plant is very very simple you can just propagate it with a tiny cutting and you will get more and more plants. So if at all you're using this in your container arrangements, then use it as a cascade because it has a very cascading nature when used in a container or used in a ledge, etc. Oh, I almost forgot. Let us talk about the most important aspect, the soil conditions that it likes. It loves well-draining soil. So if you have a lot of clay matter in your garden, then amend it with a lot of sand, compost or even grit. So this is a very small plant which grows up to 3 inches tall and it gives out these runners by which it clings on to the soil and a new plant arises around the mother plant. So thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and if you like this video then please subscribe, like and share. Until we meet again, goodbye, take care and have a nice day.